sure idea, is it? Getting him to feed me rabbit food. Well, how do you expect to feel better if you live on a diet of fizzy drinks and chips? All right, and uh, eating cardboard's gonna get me doing cartwheels, is it? Shut up, moaning. And eat up. It's like something that grows in the square. <laughs> Stop complaining, will ya? Shane would have you eating the same stuff if she was here. Not to Shane either, isn't it? My little brother used to sound like this when he didn't want to eat his spaghetti hoops. Funny. <laughs> but if you're waiting for me to pretend the fork's an aeroplane, you'll have a long wait. I ain't a kid. No, just acting like one. I actually thought I'd get an eating it. <laughs> well, it's what he needs. Phil knows he needs to make changes, even if he doesn't want to admit it. Mm. Listen, babe, I'm, um, I'm really sorry I weren't keen on the whole moving idea before. If you think leaving London is what's best, then that's what we'll do. I know you miss your mum, and you wouldn't have suggested it if it weren't right. You'd leave everything behind for me? Babe, you got my old man eating salad. Practically a miracle worker. <laughs> he needs to help himself now, anyway. You always know what's best. I trust you. Is Exeter far enough away for you? Ben's agreed to go. He loves me enough to follow me anywhere. <laughs> You've changed the tune? Yes, I have. And I should never have been stupid enough to listen to your silly little threats. Ben would never believe your word over mine. You're really willing to put that to the test, are you? We may not have a perfect relationship, but he puts me first. And that means believing what I tell him, or going somewhere he doesn't want to go if I ask him to. I don't expect you to understand. No one's ever felt that way about you. Not even your own mum and dad. The bad news for you is that I put Ben first too, which is why I'm gonna tell him to stay. What? I grew up with Ben, unlike you, and he has never had the relationship with his dad that he does now. This is where he belongs. They're toxic. They don't even like each other. Everyone would be better off if they're miles apart. <laughs> it's not Ben's fault. Your mum couldn't care less about you. <laughs> and having feel to yourself isn't going to solve that. Face it, you can't touch me. <laughs> so do your worst, little girl. <laughs> 